The Night Before Christmas Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. My sister and I were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of sugar plums danced in our heads. And Mama in her pyjamas and Father in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the curtains and threw up the sash. The moon shining onto the new fallen snow gave the lustre of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear but a bright red sleigh and eight bright-eyed reindeer. With a jolly old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his reindeer they came, as he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on, Comet, on, Cupid, on, Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle rising up in the sky. So up to the housetop the reindeers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and Saint Nicholas too. Then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each reindeer hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around. Down the chimney Saint Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in red from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His friendly mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon let me know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the seeds of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, before he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night!